I'm Rhett Cinquini. I am a fifth generation farmer here in Chico, California. Also, I am the head of U.S. business development and agriculture for Laventia Biostimulants. My family is based out of Chico. We have a management business and we have our own family farm. We probably run close to 3,000 acres right now, mostly almonds and walnuts, a little bit of row crop and rice. Laventia is a biostimulant company. They were established over 30 years ago. We started in the oil and gas remediation industry and we kind of fell in the ag shortly after when we noticed that some of the fields that we were doing with uh, a lot of the oil cleanup and the paraffin cleanup were having great results with the soy and corn afterwards. The biggest reason we started looking at biomakers were the metrics. The industry agriculture has been relying on antiquated methods of measuring soil, measuring leaf analysis. When I came across biomakers, the big thing that caught my eye was the fungal bacteria dispersions, the measurements there, the respiration, the hormone levels, stuff that I think a lot of farmers forget about, that the soil is a living, breathing thing. So the fact that Biomakers was able to come in and start measuring some of these properties that we haven't really looked at before was one of the big things that really caught our attention. We were like, okay, this is, this is a game changer because we can give ourselves credit for maybe what the soil is already producing by itself as far as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. I found one of my great grandfather's journals in Italian and I looked at it with my aunt and he had all of his farming practices. And they knew before they could measure some of the regenerative practices that we are all kind of getting on board with today now. And I think bee crop is that gap of what we're missing from understanding that the soil isn't just this inorganic media. It's something very much living and breathing. And what can we do to get it to work for us? I mean, being a farmer is very much about being a steward of the land. So I think that needs to be our re refocus ourselves back on soil health first and then everything above it. There's a different way of approaching farming. And this is a very important, I think, useful tool for growing in the future. The way we've been able to use the bee crop and then use it with LaVentia products, it's been pretty cool. We started out with saying, okay, well, the first thing we need to do according to our bee crop is we need to raise our biodiversity. Grow some natural grass, we need to get some root growth in there, we need to get some respiration in there, and then we actually apply the Laventia product afterwards. Within six weeks, we saw a huge boost in tree development, tree growth. Looking at our standard leaf samples, we were above average on our potassium. And we've been able to actually not put on potassium over the last five years on that, on that field now. But potassium that it's a huge cost in a, in a major walnut orchard. We've been able to totally erase that. And I think really focusing on that stuff has really helped us as a grower be better growers for not only the walnuts that are there, but also for the soil itself. It gives us timing to where we can apply Laventio. Being able to use bee crop has been huge for us and really solidify us as a reputable company. Biomakers has been awesome to work with. I'm super happy as a grower and as a biological company to work with a company like Biomakers. 